section 2m of the limitation act tort is a civil wrong which is not exclusively a breach of contract or a breach of trust according to salmon tort is a civil wrong for which the remedy is an action for unliquidated damages and which is not a breach of contract or a breach of trust according to winfield tortious liability arises from a breach of a duty primarily fixed by law this duty is towards the persons generally and its breach is redressable by an action for unliquidated damages according to fresser tort is an infringement of a right in rem vested in a private individual giving a right of compensation at the suit of the injured party now if we see all this definition we come to know that there are three basic essentials of the tort first is tort is a civil wrong so tort belongs to a category of civil wrongs in case of civil wrongs the plaintiff institutes a civil proceedings against the defendant and in such a case the main remedy is remedy for damages the plaintiff is compensated by the defendant for the injury caused to him by the wrongful act or conduct on the part of the defendant second is tort is other than a mere breach of contract or a breach of trust so tort is that particular civil wrong which is not exclusively any other kind of civil wrongs so it is by the rule of elimination will able to distinguish whether a wrong is a tort or not firstly we will have to see whether the wrong is a civil wrong or a criminal wrong secondly we'll have to see if the civil wrong whether it belongs to any recognized category of civil wrongs so if it belongs to any recognized category of civil wrongs then it is not a tort but if it does not belongs to any recognized category of civil wrongs then we can say that that particular wrong is a tort and thirdly tort is redressable by an action for unliquidated damages so damages is one of the essential remedy of the law of torts and damages in law of torts are always unliquidated damages so it is this particular characteristics which differentiates the law of torts from other civil wrongs like breach of contract or the breach of trust where damages are generally liquidated